Now we fight! <laughs> Hello, this is Max from FIFA 7 with a surprise bonus video. I never really thought I'd do one of these, but this this method I found out to get like the best show in the game is so good that I just had to tell someone about it. But <laughs> anyway, yeah. I managed to get a really kick-ass shield. This, the Gendarm which absorbs all elements, has 90% evade and 90% uh, magic evade, which is pretty OP. I also got the Mina, which is the best dagger in the game, and also, uh, oh, this, which is the second best lance in the game. Uh, that, those I like, got off screen, like, a different method, that this is nothing to do with that. This is to do with the kick-ass shield. Yeah, found a random video on YouTube showing doing this method, and, um, yeah, it works. It, it works. <laughs> I, I I got two of them already, so I'll first show the third one. First of all, you've got to have um, a character that can hit themselves with zero damage. That's what about here. Make it unarmed. I got the Mirage Vest so that we have some defenses, but no helm so you can't actually do air extra strength. And you want the Diamond Armlets, that's very important. Also, to save, also this is a Zodiac Age. And which is beautiful about it is that you can do four times speed instead of two. So you want that simply because you don't want to keep going back and forth too many times. <clears throat> but it's also so great. But also the best part about this shield is this shield is one of the invisible weapons. And with invisible weapons, anyone can equip them. So there is no license board for it. That's the best part about it. But here comes the time consuming part. Let's see. Yeah, this is where we got um, basic Saber in fighting Ultima. There's be a purple crystal thing there. So this is where the boring part comes in. You go back and forth until I get this to appear. Then once I got that chest to appear, then I can show the guaranteed method. And this is 100% foolproof. It does work. I've done it twice. I already got two shields. I plan on getting at least one more. I could get probably even more of a one or two, like six. But honestly, it's kind of not needed. Three is usually the most you actually need because you're gonna have three characters at a time at the screen. So having like six, I mean, you could, but there's no point. So I'll be back once I get this thing to appear. So see you guys then. It's gonna be so cool. Aha! Back! A guy to spawn. Huh. For 1% spawn rate, this thing is pretty simple to spawn. Even though I'm super lucky. But anywho, here we go. Now, do not touch it just yet. Now we are going to get this thing to what we want. So we want to attack ourselves. Ten times. Yep, see zero damage. Now so that's the second time. Now here's the thing. You know you do it right when on the ninth hit your character will hit itself about uh, four times. Then you hit it one more time afterwards. Almost there. Come on. Yes! That's number nine. One more time. So, it, on the ninth hit, you'll hit yourself four times. That means you did it right. Yes! Now, go to here, and it should be... What? A meteorite? I thought I'd take the kick-ass shield. This is part of the plan. Don't panic. This is means you did it correctly. So go all the way back out here, then go up here, and you should see the chest again, like so. But this time, we shall get our kick-ass shield. And there we go. Yes, it is that simple. Yes, I am playing the PS4 version, and yes, this is the fully updated version. The one lets me um, basically change jobs at the fly with Mont Blanc. So this does work for the PS4. So basically, it's the best shield in the game. So you don't have to worry about the whole method of, you know, um, going making a separate save file of wax and healing to get the chest to appear. Honestly, that's the hardest part of getting the chest to appear. But once you get that to appear and you hit yourself like 
ten times and stuff like that. Remember, the ninth hit has to be itself one. Has ninth has to be hit four. You have to has to hit itself four times. Then the tenth hit is the normal one. Get the meter right. Come out. Come, come in. Come out. And boom, you got it. One other thing, though, I shouldn't have to tell you this, but I will anyway. Obviously, you need to be Ultima first and get the Excalibur. So obviously, so that way it doesn't confuse it because. The first time you get a chest, it's guaranteed going to be Excalibur, and you want to get it anyway because it's a kick ass great sword. Also, another small thing before you even start all of this, make sure that your character can actually hit itself a zero and that um, also that they can't damage themselves. Then, if you do that, go to the save crystal and save, then you need to reset your game. Now, by reset, I don't mean like going to um, the pause menu. No, 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 no. I mean this. Close application, then it's reset the whole thing and do it again. Then you go back and forth. That's my third gen dream, actually. So let's see. Who else can equip this? You can. Now I got three of them. Now, again, I could get more, but um, you're going to have three characters at a time in, in a fight. So, what's the point? Again, if you want to get more than three, be my guess. I don't guess when you want to sell them. Honestly, there's no point at this point. Money is on object anymore. <laughs> for me. But, uh, there we go. If I manage to find a similar, good, better method to get the Great Tango, and also that kick-ass Invisible Bow, then I'll most certainly mention those as well. But I just wanted to talk about this because of how awesome this is. This is literally the best shield in the game. And anyone can equip it. You know this because when you go to the Gen Dome, notice that there isn't any uh, license needed for it. See? There's usually a license needed next to the piece of equipment. All of them have that, except this. Also, another thing, um, when you're switching characters, uh, let me actually, I shouldn't show that actually. Gambit. Turn it off. I don't know if it's happened. Okay, so I'm going to switch characters and. Yeah, where's the shield? Again, it's an invisible weapon. You cannot see it. If I were to equip any other shield, uh, demon shield. There, see? Yeah, it's invisible, but it's still there. It's like that with the other invisible stuff too. But I just wanted to get that out of there just in case. Oh, you're probably wondering where I, why I leveled up so much. That's because I was grinding to get this. The best dagger in the game from that goddamn Lava Eater. Look, that I found a good method for that. Thank you, autosave. Autosave is awesome in this game because with autosave, if you manage to get the rare game to appear, then if you don't get it, you can just reload the autosave file in the screen and get everything to appear again and just keep finding it until it drops it. Downside is that you can't start a change or anything, so it's really time consuming. But for the Lava Eater, it's worth it because trying to get things to spawn is a pain in the ass because you have to, like, you know kill 255 t enemies and then go to certain spots so it spawns it fucking sucks <laughs> I'm so glad that it's just a rare game and not a trophy rare game Ugh. and getting this goddamn spear is also a pain as well evil spirit another rare game is the only one that actually drops this stupid thing and it's like a really low drop Ugh. And before you ask Hell no, I am not going to grind to get more of these or these. Not worth it. Gen Gem is much easier. And there we have it. I don't want to point that, point that out there. Yeah, I'm just saying now that all the treasures here in the Great Crystal, you want to get them now while you're here. This is not the type of place you want to backtrack to later, 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 because of how annoying this place is. Look at this. There's no fucking map. It's just a giant crystal. It's bullshit. God, I hate this place, but <laughs> the only reason I'm here is because it has so much good treasure. Literally, the only reason. Well, I'm done waffling. But, uh, yeah, I was I was doing an update video as well. Actually, I technically already have done an update video. Uh, I just haven't uploaded it yet. <laughs> but, uh, I, um, uh, I might upload the update video first and then do this one. Whatever works for me. But there we go. Don't get used to don't get, don't get used to these live commentary things. Just wanted to talk about this because it's so short. The rest of all will not be with live commentary unless I find a nice easy way of getting the other invisible weapons because they are also awesome. <laughs> but there we go. 
Next time I will be fighting the other super option boss here, and then I can never get then I can bid farewell to this god awful place and never come back because the great crystal fucking sucks. <laughs> With that, the Latin 347. Game with all types of platformer. Stay classy.